If you'd like to purchase Magic Online cards at competitive prices, check out our web store at mtgoacademy.com slash store. Hey everybody, Planet Walls here for round one of Classic Quarter Classic League 2014 Qualifier Tournament 2. I have not yet qualified, but this is round one, and here is our opponent. I believe this guy is a uh, like semi-pro player. I could be wrong about that, but Enric Luzon, P. Um, not sure if I'm saying his name correctly but I believe he is a Spanish Magic player who also records his matches, um, and we have played against a Daiquiri version uh, thereof before. Uh, this is his Thought Lash combo deck with Laboratory Maniacs, so essentially it only runs Laboratory Maniacs as this dude's, um, runs 20 lands, uh, and then a couple other random mana sources and Mana Crypt, Soul Ring, uh, does not run Mana Vault. So essentially 22 mana sources, uh, a lot of fetch lands and some Ancient Tombs actually too, uh, he is going to be playing combo. We want to be able to disrupt or kill him as fast as possible. So he's running an entire tutor suite of Demonic Consultation, Demonic Tutor, Vampiric Tutor, a um, couple discard spells and duress that are going to hurt me. And then he uh, is also running top, which is probably good for him. Um, Thought Lash doesn't do that much against him. Uh, I mean, it can serve as part of a win con laboratory maniac, but it doesn't ruin most of my win routes because uh, if I can get an Emrakul out and attack with that, I should be good. But he's got just better card selection than we do. Uh, more counter spells. He doesn't have mana drains, but he does have swan songs uh, and dispels on top of the duresses. Um, and our spell snares, unfortunately, do almost nothing. They only counter his demonic tutor in the main, because um, that's his only two drop, or two cast, rather. Um, after sideboard, um, let's see, from his main, um, not sure what we can do with this mana base. We can like kill his underground seas with our wastelands, I guess. Um, but if we get lucky, it'll be because he only has 20 lands. Um, he might bring in Graft Digger's Cages against our uh, Riptide plan, but I'm not sure about that. He might just not bring them in. Um, I'm not sure what he would take out. Maybe Dismember. Um, if he takes out Counter Spells for those, I think that's probably good for me. Uh, he might bring in Yixla Jailers if he feels like he needs bodies, though I don't think he would feel that way. Um, he probably brings in the extra Swan Song, maybe a Pithing Needle for Jace. Um, or for Riptide Shapeshifter, I guess. And he probably, he may bring in another Dismember if he judges that that's worthwhile. But I'm not sure that he will. Um, the game is going to be won by us in either one of two ways. Either on the stack at some point when he plans on winning with a Lab Maniac, if we have um, basically a better hand than he has. If we have more stuff in our hands to counter, or if we've got a Riptide to be able to, like, Phyrexian ingest his Lab Maniac right as he's about to win... Uh, those are ways we can win, but I think that would be hard. The other way is just to uh, exhaust him with card advantage or with a Jace, have more counter spells, and then just attack him until he's dead. So his Thought Lash does use his deck to protect him from physical damage, um, and that's something to keep in mind. It can prolong the game, but also it's not without cost to him. He has to exile cards in the top of his library, which reduces his resources in the long term. And so as we see which cards he's losing from the top of his deck, uh, it gives us more knowledge as to what's in his hand, and if he loses one ofs, uh, that gives him fewer tutor targets. So, um, here's the matchup. I'm going to pause until uh, Enric gets online. He's supposed to be on, and uh, then I will uh, start recording again. All right, we are back, and uh, here's our opening hand. Wow, this is kind of mediocre. Um, this basically does nothing. We have no counter magic. We can kill one of his lands, and we can start ramping into a rip shape, but... Uh, um, yeah, I'm going to keep this. He definitely kept his hand. Um, so we have nothing, if, if he basically combos off and wins real quick, like on turn two or three, we probably just lose. I guess we could try to take one of his, like, dudes with a Gilded Drake. I, I don't know, like, depending on what we draw, I might just strip his island. Um, because I know we have lands, he chose not to shuffle, but it's also possible then that, like, disrupting his lands matters, and he let off with an island because it's safer? I don't know, like, he just got a better looking deck then? I, I think stripping is probably right here. Um, it's, like, the most unpredictable thing we can do. So, he's pondered... And we're back to square one, basically, which isn't great. And, yeah, that's not good. 
Um, I still think that was right because we couldn't have lost anything by doing that, I think. Maybe this doesn't resolve. It does. Okay, that's good. That means we have a Jace we can actually play next turn, which is solid. Um, I could have also used a Misty here. Not sure that that would have been right. Because um, I think I want to see one more land. Uh, and also I would like to draw a Brainstorm. But it would have thinned out the deck just a little bit. Okay, so he's got an Ancient Tomb. That's something I probably should have killed. Um, that's okay for now. If I can land the Jace, ugh, then we're probably in decent shape. And I think I might as well do it. I don't think bluffing anything else is even worth it. Um, let me just make absolutely sure he's not running like a Wasteland or a Strip Mine. He's not. So there's no reason not to find the Underground Sea. Um, even though it doesn't really like do anything for us. I guess it takes a little longer. We could accidentally like blow up our own stuff. That would be bad. Um, so I'm going to drop this. And if I get a chance to... Uh, okay, so he's forcing it, exiling a ponder. That means it's one fewer ponder he gets to use, which is good. Um, and he had to use his force here, which is also good. Because then I might, at worst, be able to guild a drake something. Okay. Let's see what he does. How long he takes, essentially. Sorry, I'm still got, like, pneumonia symptoms. I had pneumonia this last... A week, which is why I didn't make any content for quite a while. Um, and I might still cough. Uh, so it's, it feels like I'm swimming underwater. All right. So he's drawing whatever he's got. That's scary. Because he could just play... Okay, joke's on him because our spell snare sucks. But um, he just learned that our hand sucks too. So... Um, depending on what other three cards he has in his hand, if one of them's a Lab Maniac, I think I'm in trouble. But otherwise, like, I have more gas than him. So if he's still playing just offensively, this isn't very exciting. Okay, Lab Maniac. Um, I think we have to take that. I don't think we have another option, because I think, in theory, he could just win. Wait, could he just win? I'm actually not sure if taking it is right. Um... Let's think this through. So if he has Demonic Consultation in his hand, he just wins. Um, but that's only a one of. If he... doesn't... Huh. Like, is he just playing that to scare me? What else could he have and just win? Like, so he could take his turn, he could play a land... Uh, a Thought Lash... And then a Brainstorm. That would cause him to win. He could... Vampiric Tutor for... No, not Demonic Consultation, because then he needs another black. Um, he's got the Sensei's Divining Top, so he doesn't need... He only needs, like, a go piece. I think that means we have to Gilded Drake here, even though that's terrible. Um, and... I think that's all right. It does slow us down a lot. He could just play another Lab Maniac. Um, you know, he's got a top on top of his deck. Right? So, if he's got a top on top of his deck, that means we, he's got two cards in hand. What do we want to do here? I wonder if playing the Riptide Shapeshifter is the right play. He's got a top. But why would he have done this had he not planned on just winning? Top on top of his deck. Like, Demonic Consultation wins him the game. Um, does Thought Lash just win him the game? Thought Lash in a land wins him the game. Ah, I don't know what to do. Um, because I don't necessarily want to give him another turn. And also, me having a Laboratory Maniac isn't really all that extraordinary at all. And letting him have another turn to do stuff isn't good either. Um, so, like, if I get the Riptide Shapeshifter out, he has to win this turn. Otherwise, he doesn't, but... 
having a second laboratory maniac would be fine for him then. I'm going to go ahead and play the Gilded Drake. I'm not sure that this is right. If he counters it, then it doesn't matter at all anyway. Um, so, not sure if that's correct. But I know I don't really care if he's attacking me with this, so... I guess removing one of his combo pieces is legitimate, unless he's just going to play another one. Okay, so there's a Thought Lash. That's fine. I guess he's going to attack. No, he keeps that back to block, maybe? Yeah, he doesn't know what to do. Okay, that's fine. Um, so the question is, do I want to crack this so I don't draw land? Mm, because I'm going to be dropping this almost no matter what. So let's... Oops, hang on. Um, let's crack this. Find our Tundra, that's fine. Um, maybe that scares him a little bit. We drew a land anyway. If we... I don't think he knows about the Worm Coil engine, so... And he's not playing Days, he's playing Force. So the question is, do I want to drop this? I don't think I do. Um, but I don't know if I want to attack with this into the Gilded Drake. I don't think I do. I see no reason why not to. Yeah, let's play Rip. Okay, that resolved. The question is, do I want to drop this? I could draw, like, a Brainstorm next turn, and then I might wish I'd drop this. Yeah. But he's got to act anyway, so maybe, like, I just basically sent the signal that I don't have a Force of Will. But I, like I said, I think he's got to act anyway. Now, if he has a Lab Maniac in his hand... Then he can drop it, exile his library, and then just play the top and win. So we have to hope he doesn't have another Laboratory Maniac. Okay, that's a good sign. Chose to shuffle. That's another good sign. Plays a top. Okay. So what do we have in our deck here? that we would want to search for. Probably just the Emrakul, I think, and then we want to win with that. Um, that makes sense to me anyway. God, this is so slow, this horrible combo. Okay. Um, so that's another top. That gives him more ways to survive. He needs to find a Lab Maniac, though. If he doesn't have one, he's screwed. That's interesting. Now, he's going to win if he has a Lab Maniac, no matter what. So this doesn't do anything. We have to just activate this. Um, and then Emrakul him, and he loses six permanents, which might not be enough in theory. Um, this is interesting, though. Is there anything else I want to find besides... Emrakul? Platinum Angel. That's another interesting option. Um, so, what's happening? Lag? What's happening? What's happening? Um, that's my motto. All right, so we're passing. We could also do Ingester if we have to urgently. Um, hmm. So he's going to activate top probably again. Draws a card. Is he going to then move the top three around? Probably. Vampiric Tutor. Do I want to, like, Venser that? I don't think so. He might find Dismember. I don't know exactly what he's going to do. It's like the question is, do I want to do something right now before he draws his card and has access to another card? He needs to find a Lab Maniac in order to win. There might be a reason to vent his Lab Maniac, but that doesn't give me very much time anyway. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I might have to find a Platinum Angel, in other words. There might even be a situation where if he lands a Lab Maniac here, I'm in serious trouble because he just tries to win, so I think I'm going to have to find a Platinum Angel. So he's topping. 
Yeah, because he wants to draw that card. Okay. Like, the question is, do I need to turn this into a Platinum Angel, or do I not need to? Um, let's look at his Exiled cards at this point. So he's got a Lab Maniac Exiled. Look at the top three. Okay. So, fine. Did he just do it twice in a row? Is that what happened? Yeah. So he must have put them in the wrong order or something. Um, which is why he's got the smiley face there. Um, he lost a Polluted Delta and a Swan Song. So now he's going to have one of those cards in his hand. That's okay. Okay, Lab Maniac. So the question is, do I have to do something now? And the answer is yes. I have to do something with this on the stack. Um, I think I have to turn this into a Platinum Angel. I don't think there's another option. Yeah. And then, so we have a Platinum Angel in play. Let's make all these go away. Um, so now we can't win right away, which is good. Okay. Um, so now we play Jace, and I think we bounce the Gilded Drake and then replay it. And then take his other Lab Maniac, I guess. That seems mediocre. Um, Nistep is fine, though. All right, we could also play another one of these to get an Emrakul ready, but I don't think that that's right. Okay, so... Let's play Jace. And... I think we bounce the Gilded Drake. He can also find a Dismember. Um, but, uh, I do know for a fact that Jason, let, let's keep the Platinum Angel back. Bounce the Gilded Drake. Yeah. Attack with Lab Maniac. He prevents two. Okay. That's fine. And now we make it so that he has to find another Lab Maniac. We play another Gilded Drake. Okay, so he conceded because of Lab Maniac attrition. Platinum Angel won out there. That was kind of stressful. Um, okay. So now we need to think about what he's going to board in. I think he brings in maybe a Dismember to deal with Platinum Angel. That's what caused him to lose that game. Um, so I don't know what he boards out, though. Like, all, all of his counter spells are good. I think I board out scenarios unless I just want blue cards. But they're pretty bad here. Um, also, True Name doesn't really do much. It just gets through, which is not very exciting at all. Um, so I think I cut that. Um... Ingester does something, and Gilded Drake apparently is at least playable. So what do we want to bring in? Um, Leviathan seems pretty lame, I think. Um, I guess it can do something every once in a while. I think we bring in probably, like, Revoker's beat down quickly, but I think Surgical Extraction is the way to go. I think that sets him up to lose in different ways. Um, like, the question is, do I want more revokers for other stuff. I don't think I do. Uh, and I think this could create a situation where we can, like, win unexpectedly or mana screw him. Especially if, like, so I can see a situation where he loses a fetch land, and I can tell by the way he's playing that he's planning on brainstorming through another fetch land, but I remove the fetch land and then mana screw him. So I'm going to bring in the extractions. I'm not sure if that's right. 
Uh, we decreased our threat density a little. Ugh, this hand sucks. Um, we're going to mull this. This is like... I guess we have double force. Like, these cards are nothing, but they get forced. He's got so many counter spells that can counter a force that this just seems horrible. Um, I'm going to mull. Wow, this is also pretty bad. Um, I'm keeping it because I don't want to go lower than this based on what's going on. Yeah, top. That's fine. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, oh God, I'm going to strip in exactly the same way as before. Um, creates a situation with his top that he can't activate at this upkeep, which is good. And also if he brings it back to his hand, I can counter it the next time. Okay, we can waste that at least. Duress? Um, like the question is, do I counter this? He's just going to take the misstep probably, but I think letting him see my hand is something I don't want. Plus the damage is almost nothing. Okay, so we go and we immediately crack that C. And we pass. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it's a good thing that we delayed enough that... Damn. Uh, that we have a Brainstorm and a Delta now, so we can get the most of the Brainstorm and shuffle away this horrible Emrakul. And that card is fine. All right, so pass. Um, I'm probably not going to Brainstorm EOT, because I might draw something else I don't want. I really just want to shuffle away the Emrakul, so Brainstorming EOT wouldn't be the end of the world, but um, certainly wouldn't be good either. I guess if there's something I want to... Exile with Surgical Extraction. Maybe I would want to Brainstorm to hunt for one of those. Not sure. Um, my hope right here is that he's just hunting for land. Because he's only got 20. And so this is 3. I mean, he could have more in his hand. But I'm hoping that he is missing a land and needs to find one. And it's just waiting on seeing a ponder or a fetch. That's my hope here. The other interesting option would be I'd look for a surgical extraction to kill his underground sea in response to a fetch crack, and then it prevents him from seeing black. He's already used one of his five, maybe six black cards. I guess I'm counting dismembers. So, I don't know. I'm thinking pretty hard about this match, obviously. I'm not sure I should be. But uh, we pulled out the last game, I think, based on some decisions I made that I'm glad I made. So there's that. Um, that Jace looks like he's going to be pitched to a force, unless there's something I see with the Brainstorm. Jace isn't that great in this matchup, because he can win immediately, so the bounce ability isn't fantastic. Um, it just gives me, like, Brainstorms over and over and over again, uh, which is important. And his Lab Maniacs can also attack into the, the Jace, if he's only got one of his combo pieces. So I take it he's just thinking really hard right now about what to do if he wants to top or play um, a spell or something, or if he wants to, like, activate the top and send it. Um, okay, so he's going to activate. He passed priority, so... <laughs> okay. Um, see what he does here. There's no reason for him to activate it there. So if he plays another land, that's sad for us. And he did. Um, so that's no good. Uh, he ponders. Do I want to do anything in response to the ponder? No. Because um, if he doesn't shuffle, uh, then I could look for a skeletal... I'm sorry, surgical extraction. So he didn't, he didn't shuffle. He's got another top. Um, second top isn't phenomenal. So I'm going to let that resolve. That's not the end of the world. They're not completely redundant, because he can draw a card and ship the other one away. Um, yeah, so he's going to do that. I figured he would activate it and put it back so he can, like, see some fresh cards. But no. Um, so the question is, do I want to use this Brainstorm now? I'm actually going to do it, because I could see a Mana Drain. Um, so normally I would recommend against EOT Brainstorming. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what do we not want here? We don't want that. All the rest of these cards are fine, so I'm okay doing that. And we also saw another Brainstorm, which is great. Um, so there's our next Brainstorm. He could also bring in Pithing Needle, 
um, which is worth noting. Uh, so let's drop that. I'm probably gonna crack that and brainstorm again, but not right now. So I'll pass. This is the this is a turn to be scared of because he's had some time to do some card selection. Um, we've killed some of his lands, which I think is actually good. Um, that's too bad because it means he's gonna have black again. But this could also signify flooding because I killed two of his lands too. Um, so I'm gonna crack and storm now. I think. No, I, I think I wait on that. Um, I definitely want to crack because I don't want that Emrakul. All right. Okay, so this Gilded Drake is also not very exciting. Um, surgical Extraction is. Um, so I do have a chance to, like, force a shuffle or make him do something weird. Hmm. I don't know if I want to brainstorm right now. That's really the question. Because I could see, like, a soul ring. And that would make me very glad I brainstormed. Or I could do it in response. I'm actually going to do it right now. And the Underground Sea actually gives me something to start. Oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, so we don't want that. And I don't think we want this Worm Coil Engine really either. But the Gilded Drake might even be worse. I don't know, like, we might be, a, we have a Gilded Drake and a Jace in our hands, so I actually think the Worm Coil Engine is something I want to ship back first, so we definitely don't want to see any of those cards. Uh, I could also pitch the Gilded Drake to Force. I can't do that with the Worm Coil Engine, so I think here we keep it ambiguous whether or not we want to shuffle. Um, he's going to Brainstorm. And so, that's fine. We can make him... No, we just do this now. And so he's brainstormed. He passed priority. That's kind of odd. So we must want to... Okay, there we go. Here's our chance. So do I tap? No. We just cast for life. Um, and we hit the underground C. And if this makes it through, we can screw him out of black. Forever? I mean, no, he, can, he, he can't find a swamp with this. He can only find the underground C. So what do we have going on here? He's topping... Okay, that's fine. He's allowed to do that. He might want to save one of those cards. Change his mind about that. Maybe it was a land. Okay. This is nerve-wracking. He's trying to figure out what to do. He must... He's drawing a card. Okay, that's fine. We'll let him do that. I wonder if he drew an underground sea. That would be pretty... F no, no, he wouldn't want to draw an underground sea. Um, all right, so we take this out. Uh, we look at his hand, and we memorize this. Lash, storm... Vamp Lab Man. Um, we get this out and this out. Sure, a couple lands he doesn't have to draw. Um, he finds an island. So this makes his Vampiric Tutor useless for now. Um, but he's got the Maniac and a Thought Lash. All right. So that's fine. That was kind of cool. All right, so he found his island. Now he's going to top. He brainstorms? That seems weird. Um, that's fine. That doesn't really do anything. So he's going to 
push away the... What, what's he doing? He's trying to remove the... He obviously doesn't want to draw the Vamp Tutor. He's got the Storm... So we don't, we don't know what's in his hand, really. Um... But there's a swamp. So now his vamp tutor is useful again. That's too bad. Um, and there's a thought lash. So the question is, what do we want to do about that? Do we want to do anything about it? Or do we really just fight over the lab maniac? I think... <sighs> does this make the lab maniac instantaneously lethal? I guess it does. So it makes our Gilded Drake useless, but... It was pretty much already useless. Um, I'm okay with this. Um, now we hope we see a land or a brainstorm here. I forgot to shuffle. That's horrible. Um, so the next card is an Emrakul. Um, we definitely wanted to shuffle there. So that was bad. That was That's a misplay that could cost us the game. Um... All right, so he's going to start exiling. We just need to keep his Lab Maniac off the table. So he loses another Thought Lash. Now he Vamp Tutors. Um, so the question is, is that okay with me? Yeah, I think it has to be. Um, I see no reason for it not to be. He gets to draw a card that he wants here. So he's going to fight over a Lab Maniac. Okay, that's fine. We have two counter spells, so... We can kind of... I really wish I wouldn't have screwed this up, because this card is not what I want in my hand. Um, what the hell was that? So he just exiled two more, like a Thought Lash and a Sensei's Divining Top that he didn't want to draw? Okay. That's fine. Um, we don't let that hit play. And now we wish we had another Surgical Extraction. So he forces our Force. He's got zero cards in hand. Um, we Do we want to force the Force? Yeah. So he might look for another card here. No, he didn't. Okay. So his Thought Lash is eventually going to kill him if he can't find something. We don't want to see this Emrakul. So we crack this. We just want to see something. That's not horrible. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So now he gets to pick a card from the top three. This is actually kind of a combo, but it stops being a combo once there's so many upkeep things on this that... What does he lose? Honder? That's fine. I figured he would top there. If he plays another Lab Maniac, I just lose. Ugh. So I guess I just lose. Um, Polluted Delta does not help us here. So I guess he just wins? Did he just see that up there? Was that like some ingenious play on his part? Nah. Okay. So we lost that one. It very well could have been because I didn't draw that random card. Um, and that would have been great to have, for instance. So uh, I feel pretty responsible for that. What do I want to bring in? Anything? Do I want the Leviathan? I don't think I do, but I might want another Revoker. Yeah, because he's got tops, too. Like... This Frost Titan is not very strong. Neither is Worm Coil. Worm Coil is way worse than Frost Titan, actually. Um, I think I want to cut those guys. I guess Consecrated Sphinx is okay. Doesn't seem that great. Like, maybe Frost Titan is better than Consecrated Sphinx. Ends the game quicker. Now we'll roll with this. Um, so that's too bad. Really didn't want to have that... Uh, Worm Coil in my hand. Um, this hand is fine, I guess. It's not anything super exciting. 
Uh, I'm not going to lead off with a Delta just because I'd rather keep the odds high that I draw another land. Okay, so he has a Swamp. Let's not let this resolve if we can help it. I know we could have revoked it, but I just don't want him to gain that turn. Okay, that's fine. If he wants to play that game, that is A-OK. -okay. Um... So, like, the question is, do I want to remove his misstep? If I do, he'll just misstep it. Right? I don't actually know. Um, let's just draw a land. How about that? Okay, good. Um, let's find an underground sea. And then we're just going to crack the revoker out. All right. Sensei's dividend top it is. So, screw that. Um, I don't think I want to make a misstep go away, even to see his hand. Ponder? That's okay. He, I guess he didn't want to fight over this. I feel like... Had he had a counter, he would have used it. Um, I almost want to hit the ponder with the extraction, but I think waiting is probably right. All right. Um, there's another mana drain. That's not bad. The next question is, do I play it on the revoker, naming Sensei's Divining Top? I don't think I do. I think I wait a little bit on that. Um, but it's good that we have a clock. That's certainly not bad. Yeah, so let's pass. Let's keep open a mana drain. Okay. Um, nothing. So let's draw land. That's fine. Can't complain about that. Um, I'm actually going to attack. And then main phase B, I'm going to brainstorm. In case I need to use mana drain, I want the mana drain my next turn. Okay, so we don't want to see that Platinum Angel. Do we want all of these Mana Drains? I think we might. Um, we can't use all of them in the same turn, though. But I kind of want to keep the Extraction up. Okay, I can toss one of these for now, play the Delta, and I can decide if I want to crack a Delta to spend a Mana Drain. Okay, he's got a lot of land. Um, that is something that we want to be able to not have resolve, but we might not be able to get out of this. So we lose a mana drain. That's okay. Okay, that gets dispelled. So that's not good. But here this thing is just sitting there. Uh-huh. Now, I think what I do is I keep going. Wasteland isn't horrible here. It's not great, though. Um, I attack into him. See if he wants to trade, because it's possible that he would. No. He decided he's going to win. Um, it's too bad now that we only have the one mana drain, but I think I had to take that shot. And the question is, do I just waste something, or do I keep this? Hmm. I actually don't know. Because, does he have Spell Pierce? No, so keeping, like, mana open doesn't really do anything. Um... I guess before I do anything, I could just Surgical Extraction to see what's in his hand. That wouldn't be too bad, but it also isn't that good. Maybe I just play this and name... So we drop this, and then we name Thought Lash, if this resolves. 
And that gives them one fewer way to combo off. And, like, the question is, do I just crack this and kill an underground sea right now? I probably do. So we can do less? Yeah. I'm not sure if that's right. We definitely don't want to extract the underground sea this game. Ponder, huh? Okay. Chose to shuffle. All right. I feel pretty good about that. Huh. So, do we go to our turn? I guess we do. Like, I, I think I feel comfortable just attacking into that, because I can surgical extraction. Um, okay. Riptide, that's not what we wanted to see right now. I guess we can crack it out there with a mana drain. Um, let's get in here with both of these. If we can remove his lab maniac, I feel pretty good, because I think we can defend our extraction. He might want to keep the top around. Nope. Okay. He decided not to. So we're still playing defense with our one mana drain, which is not optimal. Um, and I might want to exile his dispels if I have a chance. Okay, I don't feel like that's very scary. see how many dispels he has. He has two in the main, none in the board. So he only has one more. It's only going to be last result if I surgical extraction the dispel. That would be, I don't think, a very optimal play. <laughs> but he's clearly scared of surgical extraction. So if he plays like another lab maniac, okay, that's fine. Go to seven. Thought Lash? Do I care if that's there? It doesn't do anything right now. But it will start picking up Cumulative Upkeep. And then if he kills this, he can live? I don't know if that's going to work for him, though. Like, if I Mana Drain this, I get four. This doesn't do anything by itself. Let's say he let this resolve and he blocks the lab maniac. No, he just, he just, well, I think I just counter the dismember if he's got it. Because he's only got two. Is there any other? Yeah, let's let this happen. And then if we can surgical extract his lab maniac, I think we just win. Okay, so I know I could have mana drained that, but he's got two, he doesn't have any blue untapped, so he's going to go to three this turn, I think. That's a great draw. That was awesome. So let's see, I don't think he blocks. And if he does, we fight over the surgical extraction. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so that didn't happen. Wait a minute. Prevent the next one damage that we've dealt to you this turn. That player exiles all cards, so he's just going to win. No! Shit. Okay, so I should have countered that, I guess. I think I just lose now.
Okay, so I definitely should have countered that. Um, now he's gonna win right now? Yeah, so I just threw this match. Um, let's see what's in his hand. He's got a force. Alright, so we just lost, and I should have pulled that out. So sorry for the disappointing end, guys, but I appreciate it. Uh, I will see you guys soon.